the tension is rising. Recently, a large echelon of one of the most powerful tanks in the world. Leopard 2 was seen on the railway in Germany, heading to Ukraine as part of Germany's military assistance. Well, we will closely monitor the development of the situation, because it is very interesting how these deadly machines will show themselves in the battle against the Russian invaders, but that will be later. Now let's take a closer look at this terrifying monster. The Leopard 2 is a main battle tank originally developed by Krauss Maffei in the 1970s for the West German Army. The tank first entered service in 1979 and succeeded the earlier Leopard 1 as the main battle tank of the German Army. It is armed with a 120mm smoothbore cannon, and is powered by a V12 twin turbo diesel engine. Various versions have served in the armed forces of Germany and 13 other European countries, as well as several non-European nations, including Canada, Chile, Indonesia and Singapore. The Leopard 2 was used in Kosovo with the German army, and has seen action in Afghanistan with the Dutch, Danish and Canadian contributions to the International Security Assistance Force, as well as seeing action in Syria with the Turkish armed forces. There are two main development batches of the tank, the original models up to Leopard 2A4, which have vertically faced turret armor, and the improved batch, namely the Leopard 2A5 and newer versions, which have angled arrow-shaped turret applique armor together with other improvements. All models feature digital fire control systems with laser rangefinders, a fully stabilized main gun and coaxial machine gun, and advanced night vision and sighting equipment, first vehicles used a low-light level TV system. Thermal imaging was introduced later on. The tank has the ability to engage moving targets while moving over rough terrain. Even as the Leopard 1 was just entering service, the German military was interested in producing an improved tank in the next decade. This resulted in the start of the MBT-70 development in cooperation with the United States beginning in 1963. However already in 1967 it became questionable whether the MBT-70 would enter service at any time in the foreseeable future. Therefore, the German government issued the order to research future upgrade options of the Leopard 1 to the German company Porsche in 1967. This study was named Vergoldeter Leopard, Gilded Leopard, and focused on incorporating advanced technology into the Leopard design. The projected upgrades added an autoloader, a coaxial autocannon and an independent commander's periscope. The anti-air machine gun could be operated from inside the vehicle and a TV surveillance camera was mounted on an extendable mast. The shape of the turret and hull was optimized using cast steel armor, while the suspension, transmission and the engine exhaust vents were improved. KMW has developed a mine protection system for the Leopard 2, following a concept definition by an international working group from Germany, Switzerland, the Netherlands, Sweden and Norway under the lead of the German procurement agency BWB. An order placed in September 2003 involved the modification of 15 Leopard 2A6 tanks for the German army and 10 Leopard 2A5, STRV 122, for Sweden. The first mine-protected tank was delivered in July 2004. The kit consists of add-on armor elements including a new plate under the tank floor, new vision systems and re-stowage arrangements for ammunition. Trials in February 2004 demonstrated that, with the new armor package, Leopard 2 tank crews could survive the detonation of an anti-tank mine under the tank without suffering any injuries. The hull comes in three sections, the driving compartment at the front, the fighting section in the center, and the engine at the rear of the vehicle. The driver's compartment is equipped with three observation periscopes. Space to the left of the driver is provided for ammunition stowage. A camera with a 65 degrees horizontal and vertical field of view positioned at the rear of the vehicle and a television monitor provides a reversing aid for the driver. The turret is located in the center of the vehicle. There is an improvement program which provides third-generation composite armor and additional reinforcement to the turret frontal and lateral armor, with externally mounted add-on armor modules. In the event of weapon penetration through the armor, the spall liner reduces the number of fragments and narrows the fragment cone. The spall liner also provides noise and thermal insulation. The reinforcement provides protection against multiple strikes, kinetic energy rounds and shaped charges. The commander's station has an independent periscope, 
a Perry R17A2 from Rheinmetall Defense Electronics, formerly STN Atlas Electronic, and Zeiss Optronic. Perry R17A2 is a stabilized panoramic periscope site for day, night observation and target identification, which provides an all-round view with a traverse of 360 degrees. The thermal image from the commander's periscope is displayed on a monitor. The Perry R17A2 can also be used for weapon firing as it is built into the tank's fire control system. The image from the gunner's thermal sight can also be transmitted to the commander's Perry R-17 periscope so the commander can switch the gunner's video image to the commander's monitor. This enables the commander and the gunner to have access to the same field of view of the combat range. The gunner's station is equipped with a Rheinmetall Defense Electronics EMES-15 dual magnification stabilized primary sight. The primary sight has an integrated laser rangefinder and a Zeiss Optronic thermal sight, model WBGX, which are both linked to the tank's fire control computer. The thermal site uses standard U.S. Army common modules, with 120-element cadmium-mercury telluride CDHG also known as CMT, infrared detector array operating in the 8 to 14 micron waveband. The infrared detector unit is cooled with a Stirling closed cycle engine, the site is fitted with a CE628 laser rangefinder from Zeiss Optronic. The laser is a neodymium yttrium aluminium garnet ND, YAG, solid state laser. The rangefinder can provide up to three range values in four seconds. The range data is transmitted to the fire control computer and is used to calculate the firing algorithms. Also, because the laser rangefinder is integrated into the gunner's primary site, the gunner can read the digital range measurement directly. The maximum range of the laser rangefinder is less than 10,000 meters with accuracy to within 20 meters. The command and fire control procedure known as first echo selection is used for laser range finding for anti-helicopter operations. The principal weapon uses electronic firing to reduce reaction times. A new smoothbore gun, the 120mm L55 gun, was developed by Rheinmetall Waffe Munition of Radingen, Germany, to replace the shorter 120mm L44 smoothbore tank gun on the Leopard 2. The extension of the barrel length from caliber length 44 to caliber length 55 results in a greater portion of the available energy in the barrel being converted into projectile velocity increasing the range and armor penetration. The L55 smoothbore gun, equipped with a thermal sleeve, a fume extractor and a muzzle reference system, is compatible with current 120mm ammunition and new high-penetration ammunition. As a result of tactical requirements, Rheinmetall Waffe Munition developed the improved kinetic energy ammunition known as LKE-2DM-53. With the 53 German Marks round, the L-55 gun can fire to a range of 5,000 meters. The effect of the kinetic energy projectile on an enemy target is achieved by the penetrator length and projectile mass and the impact velocity, and the interaction between the projectile and the target. The penetrator material is heavy tungsten powder in a monoblock structure. The improved kinetic energy ammunition has higher muzzle energy and recoil forces. Especially when using the new 53 German Marks K round, the L55 enables a 30% increase in performance compared with conventional systems. For example, a muzzle velocity can be achieved in excess of 1,750 meters per second. Leopard 2 is equipped with a land navigation system from the company LITEF of Bonn, Germany, which is a subsidiary of Northrop Grumman, formerly Lytton, of USA. The hybrid navigation system consists of a global positioning system, GPS, and an inertial navigation system. Well, this is exactly what this dangerous machine is, which in a couple of days will destroy the Russian invaders on the Ukrainian battlefields. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel to keep abreast of all the most important news from the world of military equipment.